Hi everyone, it's Vicky here, featuring Stamperia. Today I will be creating this mixed media canvas for Christmas, so let's get started. This is a beautiful pattern paper, which is 12 by 12 by Stamperia, and I will be using it for my canvas. I have a canvas which is uh, 20 by 20 centimeters, or about uh, 8 by 8 in inches, and uh, I will be using the reverse side of the canvas so this is where i will be working on to create a window frame i am measuring with my uh, ruler to see how uh, big the inside is and now i will be cutting out a square out of this pattern paper making sure that i have a nice seam at the center I have actually cut it out slightly larger than uh, the inside so I can tuck it in under those uh, wooden uh, frames. Stamperia is an Italian company with great products. They have an online store and uh, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below in the description area as well as on my blog. The scrapbooking paper that I am using today is a specialty paper with uh, glitter in uh, some areas. To make my scene more interesting I will be using this snow pen that has a nice fine tip and I will be adding some snowflakes on the background. I will be using this 12 by 12 pattern paper which is also by Stamperia and I am uh, going to cut it out in uh, strips of paper so I can cover up the whole frame. I am also going to cover up the insides. So I am using my ruler to measure exactly how thick I want uh, those strips to be and then I will be using my brush with uh, mixed media glue and I will cover up everything. By using this pattern paper, I will cover up all these ugly staples that you can see at the moment, as well as the edge of the canvas. Notice how I use my ruler and my craft knife to cut out my strips of paper into 45 degrees. This is going to help me achieve a more uh, realistic uh, look for my frame. With my gold ink pad I am going to ink the edges of all the strips of paper before I stick them down and I am also going to add directly on the canvas a little bit of this uh, gold ink. This is going to ensure that if there are some tiny areas like the edges that are not covered up with pattern paper you won't be able to tell. The canvas that I am creating today is a very fun project and uh, it can be also a great gift or you can use it on your own home and decorate for Christmas. Now I have covered up everything and I am going back with my gold ink, just making sure that there are no edges showing through. And uh, I will do the same thing on uh, the edges from the back. And just because you will be able to see the sides once uh, you put it on your wall, I want to cover up the sides as well and I will be using some uh, gold deco tape. It's uh, like washi tape and I am going to cover up all the edges.
To create a window, I will be using this acetate as if it's glass for my window, but if I stick it directly on top, you will be able to see the, the adhesive, the glue. So uh, just to make sure that I hide the adhesive, I am creating a border for the acetate where I can hide the adhesive at the back. So I have cut out four uh, thin strips of paper out of the same pattern paper and I'm placing some uh, double sided uh, tape adhesive at the back and uh, now I'm going to place the acetate on top of my window frame and I will stick all those four uh, borders around the square frame. Now I am placing some post-it tape so uh, to make sure that uh, my acetate is not moving and I can stick everything creating my frame. Uh, once uh, everything is down, I will be using my scissors to cut out the excess acetate and I will end up with a frame that has acetate inside as if it's window. My window frame is now ready and just to make it even cuter I have cut out a couple of uh, strips which I am going to stick at the centers just to cre creating a cross. Now I notice how I am using the grid on my mat to make sure that uh, everything is uh, centered and I have that uh, cross exactly where I want it to be. And I will be using my gold ink pad on the edges as well, just to make everything come together. I am going to stick this on top of my main frame and this is why I am going to prepare the back by adding some uh, double sided tape just where the borders are. And uh, you can see here how thin my double sided tape is and uh, it uh, nicely hides behind those borders. And uh, today's video is a, a mixed media canvas, but at the same time is a shadow box. And if you look at the pattern paper on the outside of the window, it's snowing. So I am going to add some snow at uh, my window as well. To do so, I am using this uh, snow paste, which is by Stamperia, and I am going to apply it on my window. I am going to be using a piece of uh, scrap piece of paper just to make sure that I don't mess uh, every, everything <laughs> at the back of my window and I am placing it just where those borders are. Just imagine if it was snowing outside of the window, where would uh, this uh, snow sit on your window frame? Now my window is almost finished, I just missed a spot there and I am going to leave this aside to dry. Now the paste doesn't take too long to dry and uh, now that my paste is dry I am peeling off the tape adhesive and I am going to stick it to cover up my window and I really really love the effect. Once I stack uh, this down, I realized that uh, at the bottom and outside of uh, this frame, I didn't have uh, enough uh, snow. I am going to show you here what I mean. So I decided to peel off just a little bit the window and add with my spatula more snow at uh, the bottom of uh, the wooden frame. 
this is going to make it more uh, realistic looking when you are looking at the inside of your shadow box. This snow paste, once it dries, it really gives the look of uh, snow and uh, it's super easy to apply with a spatula. Uh, it dries uh, very quickly and um, I, I really love the effect. And you can see now how much snow I have just outside of my window. So I can move on. Now I will be using this wood veneer piece that says uh, Peace on Earth and I am going to cover it up with uh, gold acrylic paint. You can use a brush to apply the paint, but I decided to use this sponge dabber that makes it uh, super easy to cover up the area just because it's flat. But at the same time, once I dab up and down, uh, it gives a nice effect. And you can wash those brushes with water and soap and they are as good as new. But for now, I am going to place it uh, temporarily on a jar with water. I don't know if you can see the dimensional effect that I got by dabbing the sponge up and down. Uh, maybe you can see it better in this photo. And now it perfectly matches the sides of my window. So now I am going to move on and I will be using those uh, stickers. And uh, there is one sticker that has two birds, which I don't need to use birds inside the house at the moment. So I am going to cover those up. I am going to use uh, some uh, white glue and this happens to have a nice fine tip which makes it really easy to apply it at the back of the wood veneer piece. The project is pretty much finished but I wanted to embellish uh, the window frame just a bit more so I will be using some stickers by Stamperia as well as some uh, paper chipboard uh, pieces and I am going to create a couple of clusters to add some interest. And just uh, as I said before, you can find links to all those uh, products that I am using today just below the video in the details area as well as on my blog. I have this set of uh, tiny little bottles by Stamperia, which I think are just adorable and uh, I wanted to incorporate them on my project somehow, so I'm trying to decide which uh, size of bottle would be nice for the project and I decided to go with the tiniest one and I am going to add uh, inside some uh, gold glitter. I am creating a tiny funnel with paper so I can fill in the bottle easily. I'm just using a spoon. And once my little bottle is uh, full, I am going to put uh, the cap on. And now I have a tiny little bottle full of uh, gold glitter for my project. For the outside, I am going to use a piece of sticker. This is a tag sticker from another Stamperia set. And I am going to cut out only the piece that says for you, which I am going to stick on top of my bottle. Don't be afraid to use your scissors and cut out the stickers that you already have and uh, make them work for you, just like I did uh, here with the tag. I have used gold thread and uh, tie a double bow around my mini bottle. And just to make sure that uh, this uh, bow is uh, secure, I am going to use just a tiny drop of white glue where the bow is. To stick uh, this uh, tiny bottle on my project, I am using hot glue. So now I am sure that this is not going to go anywhere. I decided to add a few more stickers on my clusters at the two corners. So again I am using my scissors, cutting out uh, pieces out of uh, these uh, stickers that work for my project. I am also going to use this uh, red banner at uh, the top of the cluster using some uh, tape adhesive at the back. I am just trying to make those uh, two clusters looking more full and interesting to the eye but uh, you can basically stop uh, at uh, any point. I just uh, kept uh, going and going with this project because I really had uh, so much fun creating it. 
And if you want me to share more projects like this one, uh, more mixed media and canvases and shadow boxes and things like that, make sure to leave me a comment below. This wouldn't mean, of course, that I would stop uh, posting my regular card making and art journaling videos, but I can always share more uh, DIY and crafting projects that I do to decorate my house, as well as to give uh, to friends. So that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of my canvas today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you will not miss another video. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more projects that I made using Stamperia products. Click on any of the videos, or if you are watching from a mobile device, you can find links to both those videos just below in the description area, as well as on the info button that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!